We all know about the popular family sitcom of the 1980s. We all know it was ranked as the most popular comedy show and indeed was the keystone of Thursday night television for eight seasons on NBC winning three Golden Globes and six Emmy Awards during its run. But one thing that's undisputedly noteworthy is the massive impact of the show on a significant number of the cast. It is said that Bill Cosby's real-life family was the basis of the Huxtables. Both families consisted of four daughters and one son in the middle. The character Theo was patterned after Cosby's own son Ennis, who liked the character had dyslexia. The Cosby Show, which ran from 1984 until 1992, was a comedy classic that launched many careers. Today we're going to delve into the very cast that made The Cosby Show, taking a deeper look on how far the show had brought them and where they are today. Claire Huxtable, Felicia Rashad. So let's kick off with one and only Felicia Rashad, who embodied the iconic character of Claire Huxtable. Claire Huxtable, the wife of Cliff Huxtable and the matriarch of the Cosby family, was a renowned figure in the 1980s. She was not only a lawyer, but also a mother to five children. Claire Huxtable epitomized the concept of women achieving a balanced life, successfully juggling a thriving career and a harmonious household. Since the show ended in 1992, Felicia Rashad has continued to star in various strong female roles, most notably perhaps as the mother of Angelo Dubois, Diana Dubois, in the third and fourth seasons of Empire, and as Marianne Creed in Creed, Creed II and Creed III. She also returned to her Broadway roots, playing Faye in Skeleton Crew, 2022, Big Mama in Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, 2008, and Violet in August, Osage County, 2007, among many other productions. Apparently, she seems to be sailing off with her career. Denise Huxtable, Lisa Bonet. Next, we have Lisa Bonet, portraying the character Denise, who was the second-born child of the Huxtables in The Cosby Show. She was recognized for her carefree and unconventional personality, as well as her unique fashion choices. Denise quickly gained immense popularity after her introduction to the show, becoming its most beloved character. Following her time on The Cosby Show, Lisa Bonet went on to star in the spin-off series A Different World from 1987 to 1989. She then embarked on a successful film career, appearing in blockbuster hits like Enemy of the State and High Fidelity, which was recently adapted into a Hulu series featuring her daughter, Zoe Kravitz, who she shares with musician Lenny Kravitz. Additionally, Lisa has had recurring roles on television shows such as Life on Mars, The Red Road, and Ray Donovan. Besides her professional accomplishments, Lisa Bonet is also recognized for her previous relationship with actor Jason Momoa, known for his roles in Aquaman and Game of Thrones. Although they have since separated, they have two children together, Lola, 16, and Nakoa Wolf, 15. Theo Huxtable, Malcolm Jamal Warner. Theo Huxtable, the mischievous and only son of Dr. Cliff and Claire Huxtable, captured the hearts of audiences worldwide. Portrayed by Emmy-nominated actor Malcolm Jamal Warner, he became another iconic figure of the 1980s. After his time on The Cosby Show, Warner teamed up with Eddie Griffin for the sitcom Malcolm and Eddie, which revolved around two best friends who were both co-workers and roommates. The show aired from 1996 to 2000. Following this, Warner made appearances as a guest star and landed recurring roles in various television series. Notably, he had significant runs on Major Crimes, Suits, and Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce. In 2018, he joined the cast of the medical drama The Resident, portraying the volatile surgeon Dr. A.J. Austin. More recently, he made an appearance in an episode of Fox's crime anthology drama, Accused. Warner expressed his enduring pride in the legacy of The Cosby Show in an interview with People magazine. He started, Regardless of how some people may feel about the show now, says Warner, I'm still proud of the legacy and having been a part of such an iconic show that had such a profound impact on, first and foremost, black culture, but also American culture. Vanessa Huxtable, Tempest Bledsoe. Of course, you wouldn't forget the third daughter of Dr. and Mrs. Huxtable was Vanessa, the overachiever, played by Tempest Bledsoe. Vanessa Huxtable, the fourth child of Cliff and Claire Huxtable, grew up in the spotlight on The Cosby Show navigating the challenges and tribulations of being a teenager. Following the conclusion of The Cosby Show, Tempest Bledsoe took on the role of hosting The Tempest Bledsoe Show and secured a recurring role on The Practice. Since the end of The Cosby Show, Bledsoe has appeared in various television series and films. 
Notably, she had a season-long stint on the comedy series Guys With Kids and lent her voice to the character Abby in the animated series The Replacements. However, she has remained relatively under the radar in recent years. Rudy Huxtable, Keisha Knight Pulliam. Keisha Knight Pulliam, portraying the adorable Rudy Huxtable, captured hearts and made history at the age of six as the youngest actress ever to receive an Emmy nomination. As the witty and endearing youngest member of the Huxtable family, she left a lasting impression on viewers. Besides her memorable role on The Cosby Show, Pulliam has also showcased her talent in films such as Medea Goes to Jail and Beauty Shop. Since 2007, she has been a regular cast member on Tyler Perry's House of Pain. Recently, in April, she welcomed her second child with her husband, actor Brad James, as they now enjoy a peaceful life on a farm in Atlanta. Olivia Kendall, Raven Simone. Raven Simone, who gained significant recognition as the talented actress behind Olivia, Denise Huxtable's stepdaughter, is perhaps the most renowned member of the Cosby clan. Remarkably, Raven Simone was only three years old when she joined the Cosby show cast. However, she became even more recognizable as the lead in the long-running Disney show titled That's So Raven, portraying a teenager with psychic abilities. In recent years, Raven Simone reprised her iconic role in Raven's Home, a continuation of That's So Raven, where she portrays an older version of herself, now a divorced mother of two. The series has been airing since 2017, further solidifying her presence in the entertainment industry. In 2020, Raven Simone got married to Miranda Maddy, a film assistant, marking a new chapter in her personal life. Sabrina LaBeouf, Sandra Huxtable, Sandra Huxtable, the oldest child of the Huxtable family, was not originally included in the pilot episode of the sitcom. However, she was later introduced as a college sophomore, thanks to the portrayal by Sabrina. Sabrina brought the character of Sandra to life throughout the series. Following her time on The Cosby Show, Sabrina made appearances on several other television shows, including Star Trek The Next Generation, the animated series Fatherhood, and The Sinbad Show. Additionally, she has collaborated with the Shakespeare Theater Company in Washington, D.C., on various projects. Bill Cosby, Cliff Huxtable. Bill Cosby, the renowned comedian, actor, author, TV producer, educator, and activist, gained fame through his appearances in various TV series, such as I, Spy, The Bill Cosby Show, and Fat Albert and The Cosby Kids. Despite the success of his groundbreaking show, The Cosby Show, Cosby's reputation has been tarnished in recent years due to numerous allegations of drugging and sexual assault made by dozens of women. This controversy has cast doubt on his name and legacy, raising significant questions about his actions and the impact they have had on his career as well as The Cosby Show. In 2018, Bill Cosby was found guilty of drugging and sexually assaulting Andrea Constant in 2004. The comedian was convicted on three counts of aggravated indecent assault and subsequently sentenced to three to 10 years in a Pennsylvania state prison. Shockingly, a total of 60 women have come forward, accusing Cosby of various acts of assault, including rape, sexual battery, and sexual misconduct. In 2020, an updated mugshot of Cosby, then 83 years old, was released by the Pennsylvania Department of Corrections, revealing his graying hair and sallow complexion. In the wake of the Bill Cosby sexual assault cases, reruns of The Cosby Show have been removed from multiple networks and venues. In November 2014, TV Land made the decision to pull the series from its lineup, stating that episodes would be removed indefinitely. The network even went as far as removing any references to The Cosby Show from its website, responding to the accelerating scandal. Additionally, in December 2014, the network Aspire, owned by Magic Johnson, also removed the show from its programming. Cosby Show co-star Malcolm Jamal Warner told the Associated Press that the groundbreaking series legacy is tarnished. However, Keisha Knight Pulliam argued the legacy of the popular 80s sitcom is still very strong despite the allegations leveled against Bill Cosby. Ultimately, they're just that allegations, she told today. You can't take back the impact that it's had on generations of kids and it's continuing to have such a positive impact on them, she said in an interview with The Grio. So I feel like the place that it has in people's hearts is such a nostalgic part of childhood and beyond, 
it's going to be difficult to take back those memories. In light of these recent discoveries, we won't deny that The Cosby Show was one good show that had a significant impact on the history of black TV shows. Because of the Huxtables' high-income professions, strong nuclear family, and mixed racial peer group, TV Guide deemed them the most atypical black family in television history. The Cosby Show not only reinvented the African-American television family, but it also established a successful formula for family-centered comedy in general. So that's as far as it goes for The Cosby Show. If you feel pumped for similar content like this, do well to like, comment, and hit the subscribe button to stay updated. See you on the next video.